Hello everyone, Burns are here, and sorry if I'm not talking loud, um, it sounds like I'm not inter interested, um, partially I'm sick, and it's like 2.40 in the morning, so it's only 3am, um, there's just some, like, aggressive snapping, you know, on Wasteland, nah, um, nice little trip feed as I enter the game, and you guys will hopefully like it, I end up going 28 and 5, um, don't use lethal kill streaks on this game. So yeah, um, enough of the gameplay. Um, it's pretty interesting to watch. At least some parts probably gets boring, but oh, you can watch it if you want. Um, what do I want to talk about today? As you've read in the title, for anyone that's clicked, and you're probably really curious, it's about Peter Moln Molnier. I think that's, I don't want to butcher his name, but it's like French, Mo Peter Molnier. <laughs> and uh, his Curiosity Cube experiment. Now, I'll give you some backstory to the um, experiment. I heard this on KB Mod podcast from a week ago, for anyone that, you know, listens to that, because console all all. Um, the study is for... Is, Oh, I'll give you actually some background info on him. He's um he was the lead designer on Fable two and three and was a designer on Fable One. And he earns a shit ton of money and he's been renowned for overhyping things before. Um he's fifty three, lives in England. He's a game designer, that's all you really need to know about him, but yeah. Um his little curiosity experiment for those who don't know, the study is for social networking, curiosity, and looking at monetizing things for profit. Um, his experiment is going to be free to play, like it's a game sort of thing, but really it's useless if you don't pay money. Um, now there's this cube, and this is all it is. There's a cube, and everyone in the world, there's only one cube in the world, and everyone in the world has like the same cube sort of thing that they... Um, what do you call it? They like they have to use a chisel and they have to break down. Now you can't get a chisel unless you buy it. So the free to play part is basically you get to touch the cube and do nothing else. Now this is on PC I'm pretty sure. Um and you put money in and you can buy a chisel, um just say it's like two bucks for an, a shitty iron chisel, whatever the fuck it would be, I don't know. Um and then you can pay more and more money and get better chisels. Now, I like to uh, sort of compare this to Minecraft in the sense that um, you start off with pretty average pickaxes and shit like that. And then as you build up and you progress, um, I'm pretty sure like there's diamond pickaxes and that shit in Minecraft and they're really good and shit. I don't know a whole heap about Minecraft, but that's the analogy I'm going to try and use. Now, here's the crazy part. the chisel that's like the best sort of thing that works a thousand times better I'm pretty sure it was than the iron chisel is um a diamond chisel and it's 50,000 pounds um which is a lot of money for something a DLC now that's 75,000 around 75,000 Australian or US dollars roughly it's the same pretty much for us in the US at the moment and um 75k for DLC for a chisel. Now, here's the thing: like, it doesn't guarantee you that you're gonna get whatever is inside. Like, you can spend seventy-five thousand dollars, which you'd want to have a lot of money in the first place anyway, and it'd just be a complete waste. Whereas someone with two dollars can, you know, be in it to win it. I guess that they say, and um, they'd still have a decent chance, I guess, of getting to the middle and finding whatever whatever is in the middle. Now, no one knows what's in the middle except this guy, Peter Molnir. Um, and he's not saying anything about what's in the middle. Obviously, that's part of the curiosity part. But it just doesn't make sense why he would want to do it. Like, obviously, I guess, like, if you spend five bucks or whatever, you won't really care, but he could be, like, it could be like a huge scam as well, like, he says it's not about the money, it's about his, you know, social experiment curiosity, but really, if it was me, in all honesty, um, I'd have controls, like, set up sort of thing, where 
It may look like the cube is slowly, slowly breaking down with all the chisels and that, but really its health is the same and it's not going to get to the middle. Now, what if he um, has, you know, a certain deposit sort of thing where it's like his minimum, so he's going to see how much he can milk out of people's curiosity, basically. That's his experiment, I think. And, you know, once he gets to, um, just say... I don't know, $250,000, something like that. He's like, alright, I might actually start, you know, degrading the health of it. Or, you know, um, I might see how long it can go until people start to lose interest. And then I'll kickstart it up again and I'll say, oh, um, it's getting really close now. And he'll lower the health from just, I don't know, maybe it has a thousand health and he lowers it to like 30 or something. And then it, it'll take like a couple of hours or a couple of days for people to finally finish and get whatever's inside. Now he says, here's the thing I don't get, he says it would impact his life for like at least a short amount of time. It's life changing and all this kind of shit. So it could be, it could literally be anything and all it is is people's curiosity to what it is. Like whatever, just say it has um, like a monetary value, like just say it has a dollar value. Um, I'm going to keep talking anyway. Um, if it has a dollar value, then it could be like one-tenth of what he's going to earn all up, or something like that. It just doesn't make sense. It's really confusing. Look it up. Um, then it'll be all in the description and all that. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Hopefully I explained it well. If not, then you can research it. Basically, there's a cube. you got to pay money to get the chisels. And then, eventually, whatever's in the side, inside the end is life changing and it could impact your life in a lo lot and a large way <laughs> in a large way so yeah um sorry i can't talk too loud and shit but it's nearly 3am and i was really curious to uh lis to listen and read up about it and um hopefully you guys can discuss it in the comments you think it's a huge scam or could what could be in there what would you guys would hope would be in there leave that comment other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'm rambling on, so give it a like if you like the video. On that, I'll see you guys later, and have a good day, guys.